YouTube. Back at it again, man. Now here we are getting our tuna together. I prefer tuna in water. The oil is very heavy, so you know it's up to you, but I'll go water. So now we add in the cans, right? And we have our lemon pepper. And tuna is a very not so flavorful meat when you buy it in the can, so you kind of have to spice this up. So have your lemon pepper, your garlic, black pepper, all purpose seasoning. And Himalayan pink salt. That This salt is fire. I recommend this. We herb this up with some dry thyme. fork and we mix just blending all these dry ingredients in together making sure that it's distributed all throughout you don't want to bite into a pocket of lemon pepper <laughs> trust me now we have some sweet corn that we drained out of the can and then we just caramelize it to bring out a little bit more of that sweetness of it Now we just setting up our tuna to add in our accoutrement. I don't know if you ever seen 40 year old version, but anyway. <laughs> so we adding our extras, our accoutrement to the tuna. But now we add to a boiling pot of water, lightly salted, just add in some bow tie pasta. Now we're building up, so you add in some Dijon, and you can add in as much as you like or keep out as little as you like. It's up to you. You have our yellow mustard. Now this method is something that most people may not know, may or may not know, but what we're doing here is rolling the lemon and what you're doing when you do that is you're breaking up the fibers inside of the lemon to help lend that juice, right? Because if you just take a lemon and squeeze it, you'll get some juice, but this helps you get more of the juice out instead of having to buy lemon juice, right? So you just take it, you apply some pressure to it, be firm, not too firm. You don't want to burst it and just roll it back and forth. Now off camera, I added about a cup of mayo also, but what I'm doing here is juicing the lemon, right? I'm using my hand to catch the seeds, any seeds that may fall, so if you don't have an actual lemon juicer, you have two that God gave you, right? So just use your hands and squeeze out as much lemon juice as you can and then get rid of the lemon if you don't need it anymore. Now, once we let the pasta cool, we just add it in a little bit at a time. Depending on the size of your bowl, you don't want to over mix it and then things fly out to the side, right? So now a nice accompaniment to any pasta salad is always going to be an egg, right? So just add one hot, one large egg to a boiling pot of water and in six minutes, take it out, take the shell off. Then we cut into it and let's see what we have here, people. I don't know about y'all, but to me, that looks like a perfectly cooked soft boy egg, man. <laughs> now, here we have it, folks. This is the end result. Pasta salad, tuna salad, however you like to word it, it's delicious. So thanks for stopping through, folks. I appreciate y'all. Till next time. Bless.